place the straight tweezers just on the end two pads of your finger. Yep, thumb in the middle, like that. Yep, and then resting on that top knuckle of your ring finger. So it's mainly your middle finger that's doing most of the work. Uh, and then I want you to go down like this. So we're resting on the edge of the forehead. So we're, the idea is to isolate and have one natural lash in the center of the tweezers at a time. Okay, so then when we change eyes, elbow comes up on the pillow, wrist will rest on that top corner I was telling you about, just in there, and angle the tweezers downwards. Okay, so I've got an anchor point on the pillow, my wrist, and sometimes my pinky might be somewhere as well. So this hand, how we hold these tweezers is similar to how you may have been taught to hold a pencil at school. So two fingers, thumb in the middle. Yep, just like that. So that one's not that hard. So when I use this tweezer here, I still have anchor points everywhere. So when I'm picking up the lashes about a third of the way down and pulling to the side, my wrist is just on the inside of the forehead. Then when I come down here, my pinky is on the iPad just lightly and I'm coming in like that. So my elbow is still down, I'm not up here getting strained and sore or hoping it gets on the natural lash. You have your anchor points, you're in complete control. Okay, so I have the lash in my tweezers. If you pick it up and it's not at the right angle, place it on the tape and then try picking it up again. Okay, so let's isolate the lashes. Dip. I want the bead of the adhesive to be right at the base. Can everyone see how it's right at the bottom? It's really important, but because I've been talking about it, I need to re-dip. Otherwise it can start to develop a skin and then not last that long. Okay. So I'll grab another lash and head to the same area on the other eye. So elbow comes up, resting on that top corner of the tile. So you don't do... Um... One eye at a time? Yeah. Uh, no, that just increases the chance of them all getting stuck together. Okay, so I've went to the two outer corners. Now I'm going to head over to the inner corner. That way, if the adhesive out here still isn't dry, it's not going to stick together. So I'll head to the inner corner now. So you pick up your extension before you isolate. So can you see by how I'm holding these tweezers, I always have full access of my tile. If you try and hold them like this, you can't reach any lashes. It's hard to dip mm. into the adhesive. So while it might be quicker to isolate like this in the beginning, if you can try and get over it being difficult, which it is, uh, you'll just be so much more time efficient. Okay, so I did that in a corner. Now I'll head to the middle part of the eye. So girls that aren't right in front of me watching, you can still work on your mannequins or you can just watch on the TV if you like, it's up to you. Okay, so I've got a 10 millimeter lash. So you can apply it to the top of the natural lash underneath to the side, it's up to you, but make sure it's not touching the skin. Okay. Slide along. Ah, uh, yes. So, like this, like that, yeah. or like that? Oh, towards the outside. Ah, uh, yep. like this, do you mean? Towards the outside, and then they stick it on. Like, 
Maybe just show me with your fingers. So what they do is they just um, they slide along where they're going to attach yep. the lash onto. So yeah. So we just go swipe once and yep. attach it. Okay. So that would have been okay maybe six, seven years ago when the mm -hmm. adhesives were still slow. Oh, okay. But now if you do that with the modern day adhesives, you're actually damaging the bond. Because that's what I found as well. Um, like uh, when I was playing with my first one or two models, I found yep. that it actually stuck on better when I just put Placed it on straight it. Yep. away instead of doing the yep. slidey thing. Yes, you're right. So just place it exactly where you want it to stay. Sometimes you do need to give it a bit of a wriggle if the bead at the bottom has it smoothed out. Okay, any questions while you're watching? So make sure it's one extension to one natural lash at a time. Okay, then I'll head back to the middle. So always working in a new area, never go straight back to where you just applied a lash. So pay attention to where I'm resting my hand and my anchor points. Because once you start working on the mannequin, you'll be wondering where you're supposed to place everything. So we want to dip about three, millis, three millimeters deep into the adhesive. How are you going, Christine? Good. Fine? Okay. 